Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 1 Mathematics Chapter 12 Data Handling. In this chapter, you will learn 12.1 Data Collection, Organization and Representation Process and Interpretation of Data Representation. 12.1 Data Collection, Organization and Representation Process and Interpretation of Data Representation Data is a collection of facts, such as numbers, words, measurements, observations, or just descriptions of things. Representation Process and Interpretation of Data Representation 1. Generate statistical questions and collect relevant data. To collect relevant data, we must generate statistical questions. Statistical Question the statistical question is the answer with variability. For example, how tall are the students in class 1 bestery? The height of the students are 156 centimeters, 158 centimeters, 165 centimeters, and so on. There is variability in the height of the students. What do the class 1 bestery students prefer to eat for lunch? Class 1 vestry students prefer to eat chicken, nasi lamak, noodles and so on. There is variability in the type of food the class students prefer to eat. Non-statistical question Non-statistical question is the answer doesn't have variability. For example, what time did you get up this morning? I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning. Exact time, no variability in this case. How many siblings do you have? I have four siblings. 2. Data Collection Method Interview Survey Observation and Experiment 3. Classify data and construct frequency tables Classify the data Data can be categorical or numerical. Categorical data measures characteristics and gives descriptive information. For example, colors of cats and blood groups. Numerical data is numerical information numbers. Numerical data can be discrete or continuous. Discrete data can only take certain values like whole numbers, for example, the number of family members. Continuous data can take any value within a range, for example, height of the students. Example, classify the following data as categorical data or numerical data. A, the body temperature of each student. B, the number of trees planted in each district. C, the causes of road accidents. Solution, A, numerical data b. Numerical data c. Categorical data After classifying the data, we construct a frequency table. Example, the data shows the number of children in each family for 20 families. Organize the data by constructing a frequency table. Solution Number of children 0 Frequency 4 1 5 2, 6, 3, 3, 4, 2, 4. Construct data representation. Data shown in the form of a table can also be presented graphically to make it easier to read and understand. The suitability of a data representation depends on the type of data collected and the purpose of acquiring the information. 1. Bar chart, a type of data representation which represents data by using bars. It is suitable for showing comparisons between categories. Bar chart can be shown horizontally or vertically. Example, the frequency table allows the activities during leisure time for Form 1 bestery students. Construct a bar chart to represent the data and justify the appropriateness of the data representation. Solution Steps to construct a bar chart 
draw the horizontal and vertical axes on a grid. Choose one of the axes to mark a suitable scale and label the axis with the number of students. Label the other axis with types of activities. Draw the bars such that the height of each bar corresponds to the frequency of the category it represents. Write down the title of the bar chart. Example, the table shows the scores obtained by a group of students in the science quiz and the mathematics quiz. Construct a bar chart to represent these two sets of data. Solution, a dual bar chart is suitable for comparing two sets of data. Note, bar chart has gaps in between the bars, unlike histogram. 2. Pie chart, a pie chart is a data representation that uses sectors of a circle to show the portion of such category of the whole data. Example, the table below shows the number of cars of dynamic model sold by a car dealer. Construct a pie chart to represent the data and justify the appropriateness of the data representation. Solution, steps to construct a pie chart. Find the angle of sector for each category. Draw a circle and divide it into different sectors based on the angles calculated. Label each sector. Write down the title of the pie chart. This pie chart is suitable for comparing each color of the cars with a total number of cars. 3. Line graph. A line graph is a data representation used to display changes of data over a period of time. The data is represented by points, which are connected in a straight line. Example, the table shows the temperature of a patient over a particular period of time. Construct a line graph to represent the data and justify the appropriateness of the data representation. Solution, steps to construct a line graph Draw the horizontal and vertical axes on a grid. Choose a suitable and uniform scale for both axes. The vertical axis represents data. The horizontal axis represents time. Plot the points and connect the points in a straight line. Write down the title of the line graph. This line graph is suitable for displaying changes in a patient's body temperature over a period of 10 hours. 4. Dot plot. A dot plot shows the distribution of data on a number line. The data are either clustered around certain values or spread out evenly on a number line. It helps us to visualize data patterns, draw inferences and make decisions. It can also detect unusual observations, that is the extreme values in the data. Example, the duration of dental treatment in minutes provided by a dentist to 14 patients is as shown. Represent the data in a dot plot and justify the appropriateness of the data representation. Solution, steps to construct a dot plot Draw a horizontal number line that covers the range of the given data. Plot the individual data with a dot over their values on the number line. Write down the title of the dot plot. The dot plot is suitable for displaying the duration of the dental treatment, which ranged from 17 minutes to 25 minutes. 5. Stem and Leaf Plot a stem and leaf plot is a data representation that separates the data values into stem and leaf according to their place value. Example, the data shows the mathematics marks for a class of 20 students. Represent the data by using a stem and leaf plot and justify the appropriateness of the data representation. Solution, steps to construct a stem and leaf plot Write each data one by one, and take the tens digit of each data value as the stem. The last digit of the number is written on the leaf. Rearrange the leaves in ascending order. Write a key and the title. The key 
indicates the unit for the stem and leaf. This stem and leaf plot is suitable for displaying the marks of each student in the class. Convert a data representation to another representation. Example, the bar chart shows the profits obtained by Wu Saha Degus company from 2010 to 2015. Convert the bar chart representation to another suitable representation and justify the conversion for this representation. Solution The bar chart representation is converted to a line graph representation because the line graph is suitable for displaying data collected over a certain period. That is, the profit performance of Wu Saha de Gus company over a period of six years. Example The stem and leaf plot shows the results of a survey on the pulse rates per minutes of patients treated at a community polyclinic. Convert the representation to a dot plot and justify the conversion for this representation. Solution The stem and leaf plot is converted to a dot plot because both representations are suitable for displaying numerical data distribution and the same time retain the original data values. Interpret data representations. The line graph shows the mass of waste in thousand tons produced in a city from 2010 to 2015. A. What is the mass of waste produced in 2010? 1,900 tons. B. What can you say about the mass of waste produced in 2011 and 2014? The mass of waste produced in 2011 and 2014 are the same. C. Find the mean mass of the waste produced over a period of 6 years. Total mass of waste produced over a period of 6 years equals 1,900 plus 2,100 plus 2,900 plus 2,600 plus 2,100 plus 1,600 equals 13,200 tons. Mean mass of waste equals 13,200 divided by 6 equals 2,200 tons. D. State one inference based on the line graph given. The mass of waste produced decreases each year after the year 2012. E. Based on the trend of the line graph, Predict the mass of waste produced in 2016. 1,100 tons. Example, in a quality control laboratory, the lifespans to the nearest hours of 24 dry cells are tested. The data obtained is represented by a dot plot. A. State the maximum and minimum lifespans of the dry cells tested. The maximum lifespan equals 20 hours. The minimum lifespan equals 8 hours. B. State one inference based on the data from the dot plot. Most of the dry cells have a lifespan from 13 hours to 20 hours. C. A quality control laboratory has decided that the dry cells with a lifespan of less than 10 hours will be considered defective, and thus will be rejected. Find the percentage of the dry cells that will be rejected. Number of dry cells with a lifespan of less than 10 hours equals 3. Percentage of dry cells rejected equals 3 over 24 times 100 percent equals 12.5 percent. D. It is known that 50% of the dry cells have a lifespan of at least X hours. Find the value of X. 50% of the number of dry cells equals 50 over 100 times 24 equals 12 dry cells. From the dot plot, there are 12 dry cells with a lifespan of at least 17 hours. Thus, X equals 17. Histogram. A histogram is a data representation 
That displays group data. Group data is data collected in intervals. The height of each bar shows the frequency in each interval. The width represents a specific interval. It can represent a large data sets because the data is represented in class intervals. Example, the histogram shows the heights of 50 girls. A. Find the number of girls, with heights from 155 cm to 190 cm. B. A girl with a height of 160 cm and above, is eligible to participate in the volleyball team. Find the number of girls who are eligible to participate in the volleyball team. C. By observing the shape of the histogram, make an inference based on the distribution, of the heights of the girls. Solution A. 10 girls B. 3 girls C. Most of the girls have heights of 145 cm to 159 cm. Frequency polygon A frequency polygon is a graph formed by joining the midpoint of the top of each bar in a histogram with straight lines. Example the frequency polygon shows the time taken by a group of participants to complete the fun run in a park. A. Find the total number of participants in the fun run. B. Find the number of participants who recorded a time of 16 minutes. C. By observing the shape of the frequency polygon, make the inference based on the distribution of time taken by the participants. A. Total number of participants equals 10 plus 24 plus 30 plus 26 plus 12 plus 8 equals 110 participants. B. 24 participants. C. Most of the participants recorded a time of 16 minutes to 30 minutes to complete the run. Importance of representing data ethically we need to represent data ethically to avoid confusion. To represent data ethically, the scale used in the representation must be consistent and start at zero. The data displayed must be accurate. Example, the bar chart shows the number if goals scored by four football players in the Pramai District Football League. A is the number of goals scored by Adam twice the number of goals scored by Ravi? Explain your answer. B. Your opinion, does this bar chart clearly represent the number of goals scored by the players? Solution A. Number of goals scored by Adam equals 14. Number of goals scored by Ravi equals 10. Thus, the number of goals scored by Adam is not twice the number of goals scored by Ravi. B. No, the information displayed is misleading. The scale and the vertical axis should start from zero. Example, the pie chart shows the grades obtained by a group of students in a mathematics test. Does this pie chart display data accurately? Explain your answer. Solution, total percentage equals 22 plus 36 plus 28 plus 10 equals 96. No, because the total percentage in the pie chart is not equal to 100. The Form 1 Chapter 12 concept map is as below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below. Thanks for watching.